Good morning, buckaroos. This is Pastor John coming to you from the church up here on uh, Maple Avenue. Good to see you folks today and trust that you're ready to hear what Jesus has to say. I'm going to read you a little bit of the Bible here from the book of Luke chapter 5. And we're going to be talking about how obedience helps us to uh, be fruitful in life. In other words, it's a good thing. Good things come to people who are obedient. And that's sort of the gist of our lesson today. So we're going to talk about Jesus whenever he was going around and getting his disciples to follow him. And the first ones that he called was uh, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. And this is a story about that. All right, I'm going to read to you from Luke. Uh, chapter 5, and we're going to read 11 verses. So this is a little story in itself. So you buckaroos listen up to this, and then I'll explain a little bit about what was going on there. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of uh, Gensaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. And they were so close in there that he couldn't, he couldn't talk to them hardly. They were crowding in on him. So he looked around and he, he saw a couple of fishing boats sitting by the, the, the lake there. And so he called to Simon Peter. He said, Peter, come over here and I'm going to get in your boat and you push me out just a little bit here. And uh, he did. And Simon went with him there and sort of rode him out a few feet off the shore so that he could talk to the people. And whenever he had finished talking to the people and uh, teaching them what he wanted to teach them, he, he told Simon Peter, he said, uh, Simon, he said, uh, let, get your nets there and let's go out to the deeper water and uh, catch some fish. Well, Simon looked at him and he said, uh, Master, that's what he called him. He said, Master, because he considered Jesus to be his teacher, you see. He said, Master, we have worked all night long and we're tired. We put those nuts out and we pulled them in and we put them out and we pulled them in. And we didn't catch anything except a couple old tin cans and some boots. No, no, he didn't really say that, but that's what I catch when I go fishing, is old boots and stuff like that. So, But he said, Jesus, we didn't catch anything. And Jesus said, well, you come on out there and you put those nets down. And Peter said, well, okay, Jesus, since you you tell me to, I'm going to trust you. And, and I'll do it. You see, that was his obedience. Jesus said, do it. Simon said, well, it didn't do any good last time. But he did it because Jesus told him to. He was obedient to him. So they went out to the deep water in the middle of the lake and they let down their nets. And whenever Peter and Andrew got to pull in those nets in, that net was so full of fish, oh, they couldn't hardly get it up to the boat. And so they hollered to the, uh, their cousins on the shore back there, to, to Zebedee's boys, old James and John, said, bring your boat in here and help us with these fish. And so they brought that boat in. And they loaded the fish into the two boats, got it so full, the boats were just almost ready to sink. I mean, the water was right up that far from the brim of the boat there. So they rowed, rowed to shore, and they got a better catch than they had ever gotten anywhere before. And all because they were obedient to Jesus. Now, that's a good lesson for you and I. Because, you know, God and Jesus, they've given you mom and dad and your aunts and uncles and your teachers at school and other people that the Bible states that have authority over you. People that are, you know, kind of your boss right now. And the Bible tells us that we need to be obedient. And Pastor John's been telling you all along to obey mom and dad. And uh, we talked last week about that was the first commandment with promise. God said you'll live long in this world if you'll obey and honor. That word honor there, not disrespect, but honor. So again this week we see from the book of Luke here, when Jesus was first calling his disciples, that they were obedient. And because they were obedient, they were fruitful, is what the Bible says. 
So I'll, I'll tell you something, and I'll even make you a promise. If you'll make it a habit of being obedient to mom and dad, respect and honor them and obey them, then you will get good things, and life will be good for you. Okay? So that's our lesson today. But you know something? I've been missing you. And uh, this Sunday, January the 10th, we're going to have drive-in church, and I hope that your mom and dad and you folks will be able to come out for the morning worship service so that uh, we can at least see each other and wave at you while you're in the car out there in the drive-in church. It's going to be a lot of fun. So y'all come on out, and I'll look forward to seeing you there, okay? God bless you. Until we meet again.